Hello and welcome to Quick Maths Revision where today we're going to be talking about how to position your limits above and below a summation. So I've created a video on making integrals and summations in LaTeX so if you want some more in-depth detail on how to do them then be sure to check that video out. But in the meantime let's talk about where to position your limits. So in that video I did it like so. So you put your dollar signs in and then you do backslash sum and then I did superscript and let's say infinity. So you do backslash infinity and then subscript and then n equals zero. And we want to do the sum of, let's say, n squared. So once we've compiled that, it looks like so. So you've got your infinity at the top and your n equals zero at the bottom. But what you'll notice is that they're to the right of the summation symbol. So if you wanted your infinity above and your n equals zero below, there's a quite quick fix to sort that out. So if we just copy this and paste it in underneath, what we can do is just before we put this superscript for the infinity, if you write backslash limits and then compile that, what you'll notice is that, there you go. So you've got your infinity at the top and then you've got your n equals zero at the bottom. So that's a nice and quick tutorial on how to sort out the positioning of your limits with summations in LaTeX.